Welcome to the next part of our very speedy legacy challenge, which used to be 10 generations in 10 days. Now we're just going to do it in 10 parts, which is kind of the same thing. And uh, you guys are going to be so mad. Well, first of all, you may be mad because I renovated well off camera. I just did like a quick little second story level. Nothing too major. <laughs> Don't come for me in, in the comments. Uh, but the other thing is uh, Rain might have died, but I paused it right before he went so we could at least try and plead for, for him. Uh, so let's go ahead and, uh-oh. Oh no, it's okay. The, the reaping hasn't started everyone. It is okay. No one panic. Uh, also our nanny is in really bad shape. I'm so sorry. But it's gonna be okay everyone. Hazel's gonna try and plead for their dad to stay around a little bit longer and it's just from old age. So, you know, it's actually a very peaceful thing. <laughs> It's okay. I'm actually really sad about Rain because Rain has been probably the character I felt most connected to in this LP. And for those of you guys who don't know, LP means let's play. Ah, I'm still alive! Yay! We are saving a lot of Sims. Um, well, kind of. Rain has been brought back to life. Hazel's impassioned pleas to the Grim Reaper must have worked. Now, I'm thinking that's because of our charisma. Oh, our charisma's only level three. I thought it was bigger. But yay, we get a little bit more time. That's excellent. Excellent. Thank you so much, Grim. You're just, you are such a nice sim. So we're not really that close with Grim either. So I don't know if it's just by luck. Although, Rain is, does have a little bit of positive friendship with Grim. So that could also be why. Also, it's another power saving day, which is always a little bit annoying. Uh, also, we need to take a, a selfie maybe of Hazel. Um, so let's do that. And uh, there has been an affair happening in the family too. So we're going to have to deal with that. Uh, no, no, don't skip work. Just because someone almost died, it's fine. Oh, Rose aged up. Whoops, forgot. I always forget about Rose. But I told you guys that Rose sadly wasn't the focus because they are not an heir. And that's partly why Rose has uh, acted in the way that they have and have started having an affair with the heir, Hazel's baby daddy. Um, it's, it's crazy, you guys. It's totally crazy. I don't know. I don't know how this happened in my game, but sometimes these things happen. It wasn't me. Oh my gosh, sentiment gained with Grim. You're so fun to be around. I really enjoy spending time with you and I hope that you feel that way about me as well. I'm gonna move my face cam down so you guys can see more. Okay, so little Flint and little Iris, they were in such a good mood before, so I don't know what's happened here. That's my answer to everything today. I don't know what's happened here. <laughs> you guys are like, yes, you did, Dally, you did this. Uh, let's not repair that. We should really make the most of Rain's final moments in life because we all know it's not going to last very long. Oh, that's right. Rain had a few things to uh, give to the grandkids. So let's do that. That sounds like a, a good thing. All right. So let's place this in the world. Oh, Rain also knitted a tiger beanie as well, which is really sweet. Oh, you're going to put it out here, are you? Oh, interesting choice. I don't think I've ever tried to give a gift to a toddler. I, I don't think there is a gift giving option other than giving food from inventory. <laughs> is there? Oh yeah, no, 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 we can give a gift. All right, well, let's give a gift of this little purple octopus to Flintisaurus. So this is a very special moment from Grandpa Rain. Oh, whoa, is this for me? Sure is. Oh, now we do like a little happy dance that we gave gifts. Oh, okay. I'm getting emotional now. I'm getting emotional. Okay, then where is the other kid? Let's go wake them up just for a moment because you never know. Time may run out for us. Let's just wake you up. I'm so sorry. Little Iris. Okay, I just want to give you a little something to remember. To remember me by. It's going to be this little Grim, which is kind of... Actually, that's, that might be a little grim, like literally a little grim to give them. So let's do the tiger beanie. So when they age up, they can wear it instead. 
I'm also thinking we should be checking Plopsy every day because I really want to see the infant outfits that, I mean, we can level up knitting to unlock them, but it'd be easy to buy them up off Plopsy. Another little gram. Oh, nice hanging plants. Don't mind if I do grab a couple of those, but that's it. Yay! Ew, your diaper's smelly. I can smell it from here. And then last of all, we should wake up Hazel and gift Hazel the outfit. Hey, get out of there. <laughs> gift Hazel the knitted outfit. Hey, I'm really sorry to wake you up, but I just want to give you something. It's this black and gray sweater dress. I knitted it all by myself. Actually, no, we bought it. We bought it off Plopsy, but it's still a nice gift. For me? For the winter months. So I'm thinking maybe Rose should tell Hazel about what's been going on. But then I feel like Manuel doesn't want Rose to tell Hazel. So maybe, maybe we should just get Hazel to kind of walk in on them. Oh, speak of the devil. He's about to pass out of tiredness. Like I'm pretty sure they're not gonna make it to bed. I mean, we can try. Oh, wow, wow, he, d he made it to nap time. Can he make it to sleep time? Well done, well done. Actually, the toddlers are ready to age up. We need to, oh, we need to quickly bake a cake. Oh no, we can't, because we don't have any power. Okay, everyone's saying that you can buy cakes these days, but I swear I've never been able to buy a cake. So I don't know what the heck people are talking about. Well, we can't purchase a gift and we can't order a delivery anyway. Why can't we use our cell phones? Why can't we use our laptop? We can browse Plopsy, but we can't do anything else. I don't understand why we can do that. Oh, maybe, can we put birthday candles on a wedding cake? I actually have never tried this before. Let's give it a bell. Let's try, shall we? Okay, here we go. Can we add birthday candles? Or, or did I think we just wasted a lot of money? Uh, birthday candle topper, anyone? <laughs> oh dear. Okay, we have a super duper extravagant birthday cake we can't put candles on. You know, I think we should also give Rose a gift because I know Rose has a bit of a tough time being left out. I think we all know how this feels sometimes. So here you go, Rose. This is a gift for you. Aw, oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Cause that's uh that's Rain's Whoa. sister. Oh, we've got another beanie too. Oh, you guys. So I want to give you guys a little tour of the house, but it's all the power's off, so it's quite hard to see. If you can see though, there's a staircase in the hallway where the second arch used to be. That's now a staircase. Just a little bit of a skill building room, a bedroom for one of the twins when they age up. Then we'll turn Rain's room into the other twins' room. And uh, Manuel and Rose have set up this room, so that's a little awkward. And then Hazel's down here right near the kids, the toddlers that are in here. Oh, actually, this will be someone's room. You know what? Let's just make this happen. Let's, let's get Manuel to propose to Rose in front of Hazel. I mean, clearly, if they've set up a whole bedroom, like, Hazel must know that something's been going on. I mean, look at them looking at each other. Oh, and the power just came on. Yay. Oh gosh, what's Hazel's reaction? Oh no. Oh, it killed Rain seeing that happen. Oh dear, this is not a good day for Hazel. Oh dear. How is the timing of that? That timing was a little like auspicious, don't you think? And I mean, we'll try and plead. I just want to see how this relation status is going. Oh my gosh. So Hazel like still likes Manuel. I didn't think that that would be possible and is still friends with Rose. I'm not sure if it just hasn't like set in yet what's just happened, but yeah. I don't think the pleading worked, you guys. Yeah, it didn't. But you know, I'm always grateful for Grim giving us a little bit more time. This is very sad, but you know what? He's had such a great run. We loved Rain. Probably my fave so far. And clearly very well liked. Oh, little Iris. Okay, let's let's shield Iris from this. That's very sad. Mummy's going to go sad bake you a cake. Get you a sad cake. What a nice time for the kids to age up, hey? I mean, I think it's 
I personally think it's amazing that Hazel is still like almost full relationship with Rose. So I don't know. I don't know how they're managing to overcome this family tea. Maybe because they don't really care because like their dad just died. So that's like much more of a focus for them. All right, now I think Iris was born first from memory. So we'll age up Iris first and Iris will technically be the heir unless they pass away or Flint really is outstanding. And I'm so sorry, Flint, you're in such a bad mood. Sorry, Iris, once you age up, you can get all cleaned up. You'll be able to shower yourself and life will be much easier. Okay, I also want you to add candles on there for Flint. Here we go, Iris. Are you gonna walk all around the house just like mama did when they were young? Here we go, Iris. Nice, is self-assured. I'm gonna put some murder skills with self-assurance or murder aspiration. And you know what, Iris, I think you should go to the toilet and uh, we'll check you out and create a sim in just a second. And little Flint, where are you? Oh, Flint aged up. I didn't even see where Flint was. Music lover. Okay, so I suppose creativity would go with that quite well. Where's little Flint? Hey, hey Flinty, what's up? All right, well, have some food. We're gonna get the kids' needs up. It's been a bit of a crazy day for everyone. That's the only reason why the kids' needs are not great. I, you know, I'm a little confused why the, the nanny can go home, you know? <laughs> uh, dismiss. Let's dismiss the nanny. I didn't realize they were staying until we told them they could leave. I feel really bad now. 905 simoleons! Okay, I don't feel so bad anymore. So I've just been basically giving the Sims mostly items that I had in the inventory to furnish the new rooms because I didn't want to spend too much money too quickly. Uh, so this is going to be Flint's new room. Flint's new room is the first room with a built-in wardrobe. Heck yes. And then I'll pull little Iris. Uh, Iris, maybe you can sleep in... You know what? Let's assign Hazel's room to Iris because Hazel might like to sleep in their dad's room for a little while since... They passed away. And I think we'll sort out the whole engagement debacle in the morning. I think love day is the perfect day to break up with someone. I don't actually think that. I think it's horrible. And I know a fair few people who on love day were dumped. And I just don't know why. I just want to, you know, end this these, these feelings. I don't even want to argue. Let's just tell Hazel that we need to be just friends. And because, you know, we're marrying Rose, your aunt. <laughs> this guy, Manuel is so mean. I mean, I always knew Tina Tinkerell was a little shady, but, oh dear. Oh, Manuel, Tinka, and Hazel have decided to cool off their romantic relationship. And I gotta say, that hit pretty hard, but they've still got a little bit of respect for each other, which I think is pretty incredible. Not to mention, Rose and Hazel are still, like, the closest ever. I don't know how. But let's make a joke about their marriage. I mean, it's like laugh or cry situation, so I feel like we can be like, huh, well, I guess you guys are getting married now. Lol. Like a really awkward joke. Now, I'll be honest. I'm, like, thinking maybe we should just, you know, have a little, a little wedding at home or something. Okay, slowly, everyone's mood is improving. Oh, I remember why I made Rain a doctor. It just occurred to me that Rain played with the doctor set a lot while they were growing up. Wait, we have another nanny here. Uh, do the nannies never go home? Is this like a thing now where you have to dismiss the nanny? Oh my gosh, how much is this going to cost us? I'm a little bit nervous to see the price. $666 or simoleons? Oh, wow. Okay, I guess we need to dismiss the nannies. Good lord. Well, let's get Manuel and Rose to go to the city hall and say their nuptials and sign their papers. Because quite frankly, we have another six generations to go. So we don't have time for a wedding right now for someone who is not an heir. Okay, let's get married to Rose at Town Hall. I don't know, do people, you actually, I think people usually dress up. Well, don't tell me that was it. Oh no, it's okay, I thought, I thought for a second that was it. All right, well, let's plan our formal outfits and then we'll get married at the Town Hall. 
This was a weird relationship. I don't know why I did this to my Sims. Let's maybe go for a classic. Oh, what about like a 70s looking suit? Let's go with the classic black suit. We'll get you some Versace shoes. That's beautiful. Maisie Bell came Maisie Bell came Well, lag. La 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 lag, lag. I think we should do a classic white wedding dress. Ooh, or we could do like the white power suit. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at the hair clips. Oh, you look so pretty. All right, you two. Let's get married. Oh, oh, you guys, they're getting married. I wish we could like peep through the window or something and actually, oh, that's it. Oh, that's gorgeous. Congratulations, you two. Okay, well, um, I guess we could get a piece of cake now. Oh, no, it's closed. <laughs> oh, it's all closed, you guys. So I guess we'll just go home. Imagine walking home from your wedding like this. Good Lord. So now that this room is clear of the toddler beds, I think we could turn this into like a nice little kids activity room. There we go. So it's just a few little, uh, like, I guess it's a, it's a play room, right? Oh, how about... Actually, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get rid of the grief from an inspired shower or a thoughtful shower, but we'll give it a bell. Congratulations on your marriage, you guys. Why is the nanny here again? <laughs> Stop coming and making us pay you. Okay, I was only 66 simoleons that time, thank goodness. Okay, I think there's a little issue with these nannies. Why do we have so many nannies? And why do they keep coming? Please leave for 74! Somalians, what are you guys doing? If another nanny comes, I sw you know what? Lock the doors for everyone but household members. Okay, everyone is now asleep and everyone had an awful love day. Also, I think we should take down our winter decorations. <laughs> Look at these two, they're so cute in their PJs in the morning before their first day of school. Are they twins? Like twin twins, identical twins? I don't think so. Oh wait, no, it's a Saturday, so they don't have school today. We can put our little Octavian octopus up here. Little toy. Aww. Do the homework. I think what I might do is get Hazel to go for a jog. Just to clear their head a little bit. Help process the grief. Because they also need to reach level 3 fitness skills. Sometimes you gotta go for a run and it can really help clear your head. Oh, we have bananas! It's summer! Yes! That is so exciting! Okay, so we can sell all of our bananas plantains. I'm still confused what the difference between a plantain and a banana is. And it, it's such a beautiful sunny day. We should also go to the park today. It's family gardening time. The family plantain forest. Everyone's helping out. Oh, these kids are so sweet. Well, how about we all go to the park as a family before the first day of school tomorrow? Welcome to the park, everyone. I think this is one of the nicest Sundays my families have ever had in The Sims. <laughs> Gardening together, sunshine, playground together. I mean, this is just wholesome content. Let's make friends with Wayne, because he has a cool t-shirt. Oh, level three of a social skill. Good girl, Iris. Oh, I totally forgot about Hazel's aspiration, too. This is really interesting, because Iris is like fine she's not like excited or anything like i can't get her to change her mood after playing on the playground flint's feeling energized but i feel like iris is a little kind of reserved oh wait no we don't we don't like them they have an affair i mean we do like them you know we've sorted things out but it was still very upsetting to see my sims do that as if i didn't make them do it <laughs> I tried to get Hazel to take a selfie to put on the wall, and it's the most miserable selfie I've ever seen. I think they're taking Rain's death really hard. It's a very exciting day today because it's the kids' first day of school, and they're in a pretty good mood. How about you clean this up and wash your hands? Oh, whoops, that was Flint. Oh, well, you can clean up after your sister, that's fine. You can use the toilet. Oh, that's so sweet. He was researching parenting methods. Oh, he's trying. I feel like I was really mean to Manuel. I was too hard on him. And it's school time. Have a good day, kids. It's a bit of a rainy old day to be going to school. That's okay. Oh, it's almost like Rose is taking them. I guess because Rose might work at the school. 
Well, well, let's study hard for our first day. Work hard, play hard. Not too hard though. Oh, Hazel's feeling bitter. Oh, because we have a festering grudge about Manuel and we still feel hurt about it. That's interesting. But with Rose, they just have happy memories together. Interesting, very interesting. Yay, the kids have returned home with school projects and both B students. I mean, not bad for a first day at school. Yeah, I definitely feel like they should, maybe they should have a treat. Maybe they can have a treat of some pizza for their first day back at school. Oh, wow, what a successful day because Rose is also the department head now. Uh, 56 simoleons an hour, pretty, pretty good. Cute outfit today. Pizza's here, everyone. Come and get your pizza. Interesting choice. Oh my gosh, another promotion. Stop it. Manuel has been promoted as well to an assistant manager. Pizza for everyone, I say. Whoa, look at this fancy new suit and badge. Look at this family. Again, family goals, I'm telling you guys. Although little Iris here is looking kind of angry. Maybe she knows about what her dad did. Yay, little volcano. Well done, folks. Let's start a chemical reaction. Whoa, cool. Maybe we shouldn't have done that right next to the barbecue. <laughs> start a house fire. Okay, well, now that we did that one together, why don't we do this one together as well? And I love that it's making, has it helped everyone's fun or maybe fun just doesn't go down as quickly? Uh-oh, you're feeling a little sick. Let's get you a tea. Whoa, very cool. Good work, everybody. Well, we're just in time to tuck in the kids. Be pretty cool if your mom was an astronaut. Command center lead. Sweet dreams, my little one. Oh, so sweet. Sweetie dreams. And then we'll put Flint to bed as well. I'm not quite sure why there's a vacuum in Flint's room, but maybe he was experimenting with it. This is really cute, you guys. Hazel is home on a rainy day by herself and she's invited old friend Cohen over. Remember when, wasn't Cohen a teenager back in the day? And I mean, she hasn't feeling that, hasn't been feeling that well. Um, but you know, these guys are just getting along really well. They may have taken a couple of pictures together and we all know that's how you have a best friend. It's not cheating if it's in the game. Hey, what are you doing to my kid? Hey, hey, that's inappropriate. Oh, are we an A student? No, we're a B student. What are you doing? Reading under the covers. Very sweet. Kind of creepy how I was just sitting here in our house. I'm afraid this household is not in compliance with the clean energy program. Oh, I don't want to keep having to buy the, oh, is it because all of these are broken? So it is Hazel's birthday today. It's also power saving day. We love our power saving days. Uh, and Hazel's got their friend over, who is now their best friend to celebrate their birthday with. Here we go, Hazel. Hazel's now an adult. And Rain has sent Hazel a gift in the mail. I mean, this is a really nice friendship. Do we want to take it to the next step? Do we want there to be a romance? I feel like Hazel was always interested in Cohen. Oh no, their kid's there. Oh no, that's not their kid. That's their kid's friend. Oh, okay. I love how the kid's just sitting here like, hey. Oh my gosh, you're so tired. Okay, you need to go to bed. Having a little bit of a family summer barbecue tonight. With our little friend Wayne here. I like that this flirtation's very slow and gradual. And I really want the kids to be in a good mood tomorrow morning because tomorrow is their birthday and they'll be teenagers. And then we'll find out what their aspirations are. And then I guess whoever's the most successful because they are twins will be the heir. So a little bit of competition here. It is the morning, both the kids are going through the loud phase. So Iris is, this is great, isn't it Iris? We love this for you. <laughs> Then Flint might start turning on the radio or something, I imagine. But that's okay, they can have a rebellious stage because they are both grade A students. All right, Iris, time to blow out your birthday candles. Hazel actually stayed up last night making this cake for the kids. Here we go. Happy birthday, Iris. So Iris is already a bit of a firecracker. Self-assured, 
Animal lover. No, we've had so many animal lovers. Let's do it again. Lactose intolerant. I feel your pain, girl. And let's look at the aspiration. What are we going to get? Ooh, painter extraordinaire. Yay, an artist. I like this one. That makes me really excited. Yay, I love when my Sims do paintings. Now it's Flint's turn to, turn to blow out the candles. Here we go. Big breath. And we'll soon see what kind of Sim Flint's going to be. Randomizing. <gasps> Lona, music lover. So they are creative twins. And let's generate an aspiration for Flint. What is it going to be? Oh, no way. Musical genius. That is perfect. That is actually so good. Yay. I love it. A Lona musical kind of teen oh interesting choice of earrings that's lots of fun oh and just like that hazel's off to work okay <laughs> then where's iris okay and then this is iris they do look a little bit different but the nice thing is they don't have class until another another three days so i think because the twins are both creative and a little bit artsy i'm gonna give them a, some tattoos and flint's got an eyebrow piercing pretty basic outfits and then Iris is kind of like into fashion, so fashion art. Maybe they want to be a fashion designer when they grow up. You know what? Let's give them the really big new tattoo because I don't think I've given any Sims this tattoo yet. Yeah, that's really cool. I feel like Hazel would be such a cool mom and just like pretty relaxed that they wouldn't mind the kids getting tattoos. Actually, both of the twins can have this matching flower tat. You know what? Maybe their mom should get it as well. So they can all have it. How cool. I absolutely love this tattoo. So this home studio, or this playroom can now become a home studio. We've got a little, a little bit of a way to go before we turn into a pro musician, but I believe in Flint. He will definitely get there. And they've started as B students because they were A students in primary school, I think. I'm obsessed with these twins. I love them so much. Ah, oh, what a masterpiece. Uh, Manuel, why are you watching Hazel sleeping in the bathtub? That is, okay, there we go. There's the delayed reaction I was hoping for. Now, are you gonna go leave? He was just thinking about, thinking about Hazel. That's so weird. And he's feeling focused, what? I find that very disturbing. I don't like Manuel anymore. These guys are absolutely smashing their aspirations as well. This is what happens when I like the aspiration that my Sims get. Okay, so we can sell three paintings to collectors and that'll contribute to us getting to the next level. I mean, it would be nice to complete someone's aspiration in this gameplay. Uh, we need to get emotional. Enable the emotional aura, maybe. Okay, let's get emotional. Is it playful? How do we feel? Do you feel anyway? Okay, that was disappointing. <laughs> what a supportive mom. Aw, and it's making you think of a dad. That's beautiful. I can't wait for Flint to actually be good at the keyboard. <laughs> Aw, they're already at two out of four of their aspiration. That was pretty good. Okay, these two are gonna have a, an argument because I need I need Iris to do an emotional painting for their aspiration. Where I'm like, what's the easiest emotion to get into? Angry? You know, it doesn't mean that they hate each other. It's just like, you know, classic teenager fighting with their parents moment. Teenager wants more independence. Sound familiar? Okay, why are you not more angry? Oh no, their relationship's really low now. Oh. No, I feel bad. No, I want you guys to be close and just have, you know, normal mother-daughter fight. Okay, you can fight with your dad instead. You can argue about house rules. I can't believe I have a curfew still. Why can't I go to Stacy's party? Well, you just want me to stay at home and play games? No gaming. <laughs> Mock uncool adult. Why are you not more angry? At this rate, Flint's going to be the heir. Maybe we could take a steamy shower and get flirty. Oh, oh, Flint's getting much better. Oh, sad painting from feeling hurt. Okay, our fighting worked. I thought it would make her angry, but she's sad. That is truly such a sad painting. 
This is me during time of the month. So Iris brought a friend home from school today. This is Hillary. And you know, they've got a good little friendship going on, still getting to know each other a little bit better. So they can have a gossip, ask about woohoo. And then Rose, it's time for Rose to age up. And Rose is gonna be an elder. Oh my gosh. So many elders. So we'll get Rose to blow out this beautiful winter cake made by Hazel. Whoops, didn't mean, mean to fast forward through that. And just like that, Rose is an elder. Feels like just yesterday they were born. Actually, no, truly it feels like ages ago. <laughs> You know what? I'm gonna save. Ew! Stop farting, man. I, d I do suppose you just had like a massive bowl of beans and sausage, so it is fair enough. Oh, and it looks like Cohen is here as well. Hmm, perhaps we'll try and have a little flirty flirt. Wait, did he just leave? Why do you always leave whenever we try and flirt with you? I feel like Cohen's like really scared of commitment. Oh, wait, are you coming back in? Oh, now we're all sad, so it's probably going to fail. Oh my gosh, we're not even facing him. Disaster, although I think it's working, finally. These two are just so shy to make something happen. I mean, can we just be honest and confess the attraction we've had for so long for Cohen? Saucy, saucy, oh yeah. The charisma would help a lot. Stay the night, stay the night, stay the night. I don't think it's an option yet. Kind of awkward when her kid's like right here. <gasps> First kiss! Uh, this has been in the making for a long time, you guys. All of the relationships have been very rushed. But this, this feels organic. We can have an invite to stay the night. Manuel's like, ah, oh, this has been going on for ages. Manuel's probably jealous. Oh, okay. He's going straight to bed. Oh, oh, okay. All, all right. No funny business beforehand, I guess. Well, hold on. Everyone's asleep except for Hazel. So I feel like we can maybe wake him up and have a little bit of saucy saucy. Oh, the friend's still here. Well, oops. Also, I'm not sure why this shower's constantly, constantly going. Maybe they've turned it on to cover up any woohoo sound. Today's the big day. It is birthday time. So let's age up Iris first. And I actually think Flint is the more successful twin because he's technically got higher grades. Ooh, what are we gonna get? Recycle Disciple. And I think Musical Genius, two out of four. Painter Extraordinaire, two out of four. But we do already have a friendship with Hillary who could be a potential partner. It's kind of, it's kind of hard to know. Ooh, hot-headed Flint. I mean, it would be nice to have a relationship with Hillary. And then maybe they could, we could work with the genetics to have a baby. We also need to get them jobs. I definitely think they should just go into the jobs that make the most sense for them, which would be a musician and an artist. That's a no-brainer. And it's really interesting because they seem very reluctant to get jobs. Hey, Iris, you are going to be a painter. Easy. And Flint, you are going to be an entertainer. Aw, you make my day so much better. Thanks for making me smile. Iris is feeling flirty. Oh, wait, how old is Hillary? Is Hillary a young adult? Yes. Okay, it's a sign. It's a sign. We should, we should do this. Hillary seems like a really nice sim. We don't know anything about their traits, but hopefully they're a nice sim. <laughs> Maybe we could just test the waters a little bit and see if Hillary's interested. You know, we come from this family where we have to get to 10 generations and I might be the chosen heir. So do you want to be involved with me? Uh, was that a yes or a no? I think that was a yes. Oh, I always get so excited when my sims have a potential love interest. Should we maybe ask if they're single? We should probably start with that. Oh, getting each other's numbers. Hillary is single, everyone. Hillary is available. Maybe we could like go somewhere a little bit nicer. I feel like we always, you know, we always get together with Sims at our house and it's just kind of sad, you know? Let's get out into the fresh air. Okay, this is, this is much more romantic. <gasps> First kiss, first kiss on the bridge. Don't leave me, Hillary. Oh, 
That's beautiful. Oh, that's cute. They were best friends in high... Well, they were friends in high school. Now they're a bit older. They're a little more serious. Yes, I'll be your girlfriend. Yay. Let's ask to join household and then we can go into create a sim. Who's the Sigworth family? Wow, it's a big family. Um, We could take $2,000 maybe. That's fair, right? To contribute. Let's try for a baby in the closet, shall we? Let's get this party started. Generation five, right? So what kind of sim is Hillary? A dog lover, goofball, athletic aspiration, and materialistic? I mean, it's okay. So they could, they should have a career in athleticism. Ah, who's this? Alex, Moira, Angela, darling. Pretty cool. Tee hee. Wee! Okay, let's see if Hillary is pregnant. Hey, Hazel, out of my way. Oh, Hillary, yes, you can be in the athletic career because that's your aspiration. Oh no! It didn't work. Let's try it again. We need fifth generation, folks. This is a baby making family. Oh, you don't like video gaming. Okay, let's try again. Yay! Fifth generation! Yeah, yeah, yeah! We did it, you guys! It's on its way! You're kidding me? We're gonna have a baby, they're saying. Okay, well, I think that Iris would definitely like to propose. I want to mother this child together and grow old together and be together. Aww. Asked to be Sim of Honor at the wedding. They just got engaged. Yay! Oh, oh dear, it's been a very big day for poor Iris. It's been very overwhelming. Well, anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching this part of the LP. Uh, definitely subscribe if you haven't already to see more parts. And as always, I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. Look forward to speaking to you all soon. Tag tag!